enjoying your Saturday so far. It's a beautiful day here where I live. It's nice and hot and sunny. And I had a few requests for coconut choka. So today I'm going to be making coconut choka for you guys, Guyanese style. And for all my Guyanese friends who remember or who know of coconut choka, you, it, you will know that this is a very, very popular dish in Guyana. And it's very, very simple to make. It takes like only four ingredients. You can, there are so many ways how to make it. I mean, so many different flavor to add. But today I'm only gonna use four ingredients, but it is gonna taste amazing. So I'll take you guys down with me and we're gonna do this together. So guys, I have the coconut here. I have two whole coconut that I broke and I just take them out the shell and I'm gonna roast it now on my stove outside to make the coconut choka. I'll show you guys. So guys, I put the coconut on this grill over my stove because you want it to have that flame to go on it so it can roast nicely. It, if it's um, a little bit overcooked, you can always cut it out or scrape it out, but it's important for the coconut choker that it's roasted nicely because it will have that nice roasted smoky flavor. But as I'm doing this, I put the, um, the white side down so it can cook and then I'll flip it over for the brown side to come upwards and I'll show you guys the process as I move along. Okay guys, so I'm going to flip these over and it doesn't matter that it burned because you can always cut that off but this piece here needs to go a little bit more so I'm going to change the direction I had it for the other side to get a little bit roasted. They see this one is roasting up nicely so you don't want it to over cook, like over burn. You just want it to get char on, like this one is nice so I'm going to flip this one and then you just change the angle if one side is cooked just flip to the other side so you can get some um, some char on those and then once it's done like that throughout it's gonna be ready and I'll show you guys but it's starting to smell wonderful so guys I flip some of them and you just want a little bit of brownness around the edges I'm trying to move where the smoke is not going and it smells so nice so i'm gonna actually take them off soon and this is roasting my coconut in my backyard like guyanese style so i'll take you guys through the process and let you guys see but i don't know when last you guys had coconut choka but it's something that all guyanese really really enjoy with a good plate of dal and rice so guys this is the coconut when it's done roasting and this is how we used to do it back home if it's um too charred you have to scrape it off after but i'm gonna tell you guys an easy way how to do it you can you can take them out the shell put them in your oven on a 350 degree and let it roast in a uh, like a baking pan and you won't get any char or anything on it but i just did it this way because that's what i remember we used to do it like and i it's it's a hot summer day and i just did it on the open fire but please uh quicker easy less messy way to do it is in your oven see i have to scrape out some of the char and the ingredients i'm going to use and this is a very very simple recipe you only need the coconut you need garlic pepper and salt for this recipe i do not add any other ingredient you can go ahead and add or add more ingredient if you like but garlic is the star for this and um you want to put a good amount so i have six cloves of garlic for two coconut and i have a quarter of a hot pepper because you want it to be nice and flavorful and the pepper really give it a good kick and i'm gonna add a small orange mariburi pepper these are frozen pepper so you want it to be nice and flavorful when you're eating it your mouth must run with water so guys my husband is gonna help me to crush it up in that omega-3 juicer machine and then I'll show you guys the next step. Guys, my husband is um, crushing it, crushing the roasted coconut here in his machine. So, because when after you finish roasting, you have to um, 
actually grate it in uh, with a grater or if you have a food processor you can also make this in your food processor but he's just crushing it up for me in his omega juicer so guys i'm using my nutribullet to blend the um crushed coconut and um the nutribullet i find is something that really get it super super fine look how fine it is because you want it when you want to enjoy a good coconut choker you want it to be fine and my mom always tell me when you roll it to a ball and it stays together you know that it's um that's it, it is really really fine if you can't roll it in a ball you know that it's not done fine enough my mom used to make a very very delicious tasty coconut choker and she did it the hard way she used to grind it with the sail back home the the um sail and the lower half and it will take her a very long time she'll sweat and she'll still continue but coconut choke is so so delicious that you don't mind the time but we have to we have to give it to those older people and i want to shout out to my mom because she used to make this very delicious the hardest way so guys if you have a food processor you can also put it in there and grind it as fine as you can and you'll get a very nice turnout but let me finish i just finished blending this in i have to blend the rest i have to add salt and then i'm going to show you guys how it is when it's all done so guys i have about less than half of the amount here because we're going to use this for today and i'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt into this for flavor because the other set i'm gonna freeze it to use on another day so i just want to show you guys this and i'm just gonna mix it in with my hands like that this is the salt for flavor and it already i blend it with the garlic and the pepper so that's already in there i'm drooling guys because this smells so so good and i just can't wait and for all those of you who remember the, the sill that we used to grind it with back home, you'll remember how long it would take you to do so. So with the Nutra Bullet, you just have to crush it up. And when you put it in a Nutra Bullet and you blend it for a little, it's going to be fine, very fine like this. And I always think that you couldn't get it fine without a sill and a loraha to grind it. But guys, this... Neutral bullet did an amazing job. So I'm just gonna taste a little bit to see if I have to add more salt. Mm -mm. It is perfect, guys. Oh my God, perfect, perfect. So half a teaspoon of salt just for this little bit. And the rest of it, I have the garlic and I have the pepper. So let me make it to the ball because my mom always say, if you can roll it to a ball, you know that it's grind fine. Um, if you can't make it to a ball, you know that you have to grind it a little bit more. So I'm going to see if what my mom said was um, it's working because this is like super, super fine here. And when they finish grinding it back home on the sill, this is what, how they used to make it. So I actually did it. See, I can make a ball with it. So that's when you know. And guys, the finer you grind it, the tastier it will be. So if you're doing this, make sure you grind it fine. I'm going to keep rolling them off and then I'll come back and show you guys the next step. Right, so here it is, our beautiful coconut choker. And like I mentioned, I did two of the coconut. And um, the real key ingredient to this is a lot of garlic. So guys, after I show you guys, I was going to put six garlics. I went back for the clove. I went back and I added two more cloves because garlic really bring out the flavor in this. And you want to put enough pepper that when you're eating it, you're having that nice kick. So it is done. I'm going to play it out and let you guys know how it tastes. Guys, the best way to eat coconut choka is with dal. I mean dal and rice. So I made some rice and I made dal. And I made some lamb curry. But guys, I'm just drooling over the coconut choka. So I'm going to dish out and let you guys know how it tastes. So guys, this is the sail that they used to grind the coconut choka back home with. It's a piece of a brick and they use this to grind the coconut choka. Okay guys, so the star of the dish today is coconut choka. But you got to have coconut choka with dal and rice. But because I cooked dal and rice and lamb curry 
I'm still gonna have that with my coconut choker. So I want to shout out to my mom because she taught me to cook and she teach me so many things and she's still teaching me so and she did this the hard way so i want to shout out to my mom i want to shout out to my viewer who requests that i make coconut choker and today you guys i am gonna taste and let you guys know so what i like to do i like to mix some of the coconut choker with the doll and some of the rice jess you can get a good view mm -hmm. so um so that's what i'm gonna do here and guys i am drooling i can't wait so i hope you guys enjoy the step and i'm gonna show you guys a picture of a sail and a lower heart that my mom used to make hers in this video but guys i have to do this now so to all my viewers and all my subscribers i am so happy that you guys can be with me in my kitchen every time i do a new recipe or do a recipe for you guys so i always appreciate everyone i want to say cheers to everybody for the coconut choka and dal and rice oh my guys guys i am um, just my mouth is bursting up with flavor the garlic in there just pop right out and you have to put the right amount of pepper and it tastes the sweetness of the coconut and that roasted flavor guys you would just Eat, when you have a mouthful of that you'll just remember if you're not living in Guyana like you're sitting in a house in a bottom house in Guyana just eating dollar rice and coconut sugar with your fingers so hope you guys like this step hope it was easy to follow if you have any comments at all let me know if you have any dish that you would like me to make please leave it on the comment give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you haven't subscribed yet please do so you only have to subscribe to one video until then bye for now stay blessed